So let's go first to wind power. And if you want to look at a really cool site, you could go to Student Energy. Just put it in your browser, put Student Energy, and you can get little videos, you can get little stories about the different kinds of power that exist out there. And so let's talk about wind energy for a minute. Now I want you to do something else for me. I actually want you to close your eyes again. If you're on the screen, close your eyes for a second. Just listen to me. Put your hands in front of you and blow on your hands. Blow softly and then blow harder. That's what wind energy does. It takes that natural wind. So you, when, when you're outside on a really windy day and the wind's blowing all the time, that's power that can, that's converted by turning the turbine blades. And you see this picture here. This gives you a sense of the pieces of a wind energy system. So those big blades, the big blades you see when you're driving on the highway and you look up on a hill, you'll see sometimes wind turbines. And there are more and more of them across Canada from coast to coast. And those big blades turn. They don't have to turn that fast because there's a lot of power in those blades. And as they turn, they create magnetism. And magnetism creates the power of energy. That's what really drives it. And those little pieces that you see connected there create power. Where is that done? Now, this is a picture from Gaspé in, on, in Quebec. In Gaspé in Quebec, they have this really cool site. You see all these wind turbines. They're really big. Now, if you don't think that's big, um, let me give you a sense of this. That, one of those turbines is almost half the height of the CN Tower that's in Toronto. It's pretty big. In fact, it, if you, it's so high that they have, even have small elevators inside to get to the top of the wind turbines. But these wind turbines are owned by, in part, by the, Ga the Mi'kmaq communities of Gaspé. They are part owners of those wind energy turbines, so they're providing wind energy in Quebec, but they're also making money for their own operations and jobs. When they created the Mesqui Ujusin wind project, the, the people of, of Mi'kmaq people of Gaspé said, hey, we want to create some jobs. And they created over 100 jobs for people in that community. And men and women worked in the project for years, and now they are running the project, and they're also earning money for the project for community needs, for the schools, for healthcare, and other things like that. Now, so here's a really interesting thing for the women and girls out there. This is a picture of two friends of mine. One on the right is Terry Lynn Morrison. And Terry Lynn Morrison was the project manager for this project in Gaspé. So Terry Lynn Morrison was honored here by the Canadian Wind Energy Association for being a leader in wind energy. So if you're a, if you're a young girl in, in primary school or, or in middle school or secondary, or now you're growing into, into high school or in university, I want you to know that renewable energy is a place for you to think about jobs as well. It's not just about guys and men. It's about for all gen, both genders, and it really is a future moving forward.